This is Psalms 14, verse 1. To the chief musician, a psalm of David. The fool hath said in his heart, There is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and honor to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakakudash. Once again, call line la alahayna wa Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakakudash. My name is Tazamak Amath, coming from the camp, Prophets in Babylon here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teaches the truth and rule well. Okay. Now, I have this video that I'd like to share right here. The lady you see on the screen is Eve. She goes by the name of Amber Rose. This is Amber Rose that you see on the screen. She's getting interviewed by Jake on the left that once I play the video. But this just shows how destroyed our people is. Okay. Man, our people are destroyed, man. Esau has destroyed our people. All right? But I'm going to let the uh, clip play. The lower world, it just lets it edifying. Do I believe in... Do I believe in God? Mm -hmm. What do you mean by God? Like do you a, believe in God? Do you like, like a higher power? Sure. That, like, was like... Here's people, and here's Earth, and here's the planets. No, no. So what do you? So if you don't believe in God, what do you exactly believe in then? Like, I more so believe in science than like an a, a, an invisible entity named God was like let there be light. Mm. It just seems far fetched to me. Really? So do you ever have you ever been to church before? Yeah. And then times. when you go to church, you just don't be feeling it. You'd be like, damn, y'all be talking. Like, how do you be feeling? I just like don't believe Jesus, like, died and, like, came back to life for my sins. I just believe that's crazy. That's. Now, you see the foolish things this woman said out her mouth, man. You know, the last part, she said Jesus, which we know his name is Yahweh Shai. She says she does not believe that Yahweh Shai died and came up and rose up again for our sins. This lady is fucking crazy. This this bitch going to die unless she, she repent. All right. So let's open back up with that precept I just had. Psalms 14 and 1. The fool have said in his heart, you know, the heart goes to La'ah, which is your mind. There is no God. Did not Amber Rose just say that? Let's play it again. Do I believe in... Do I believe in God? Mm -hmm. What do you mean by God? Like do you a, believe in God? Do you, like, like a higher power? Sure. That like was like, here's people and here's Earth and here's the planets? No. Here's the planets? No. And here's Earth, and here's the planets. No, she just said no. She does not believe Yahweh Shemiah Shai created anything. She does not believe Yahweh Shemiah Shai created the Earth, and he's not, and he, that he is that. Uh, Salaki, that he is not. He that he is, man. Basically, what I'm trying to say. That Yahweh Shai and the elect did not create everything that you see. This woman is fucking foolish, man. Eve is fucking stupid. All right. It says the fool have said in his heart, there is no God, which I played. They are corrupt. The Lord said they are they are corrupt. All right. Their mind is corrupted, man. It's, it's destroyed, man. The best thing to do for, for Amber Rose is to just kill her, man. Because that, that bitch is sick and corrupted. All right. It says they have done abominable works. Let's not mention Amber Rose is the is the founder and the creator of slut shaming walk. The slut walk. That's whatever the uh, they be doing. Basically, like all the women go out there 
and they 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 do a little parade, and they slut walk. They walk in the sluttiest clothes because they get slut shamed. She's the founder of that, man. All right, she's doing abominable works, and it says there is none that do of good, man. So you know this woman got to get destroyed, man. Lest she repent for what she just said, she's gonna die in Babylon. Okay, you see Eve right here on the left. She's blowed by what she just heard from Amber Rose. Okay. She's blowed because Jake, we have a natural spirit of believing there is a Lord. There is a high power. Okay. But Amber Rose, I don't know what the hell happened, man. She don't believe in Jack. Nothing. She says she believes in science. She believes in Dar Darwin evolution. Big Bang theory. <laughs> Come on, man. How, how could a Big Bang create human life? You know, anatomy, looking up the human body, the nerves, the cells, the, the breathing, the heart, the blood, the animals, the trees. A Big Bang can't create what you see in front of you. You think a Big Bang created a telephone? You think a Big Bang created life on Earth? No, man. What do you mean by God? Like you believe a, in God, you, like like a higher power. Sure. That like was like, here's people and here's Earth and here's the planets. No. No. So what do you? So if you don't believe in God, what do you exactly believe in then? Like, I more so believe in science. That she believes. Like, an a, a, an invisible entity. First of all, the Lord is not invisible. <laughs> The Lord is not invisible. Let's get that. Let's just get it. Let's just prove it. This is Wisdom of Solomon 12 and 1. It says, For thine incorruptible spirit is in all things. For thine incorruptible spirit. This is talking about the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai. For thine incorruptible spirit is in all things. All things. All things. Okay, I gotta repeat it because this this bitch Amber Rose, she don't know what the hell she's talking about, man. Okay? She don't know what she's talking about. Let's get um let's get this. Just to prove that the Lord made everything that you see today. Um let's see. I know it's in Wisdom of Solomon. <clears throat> Give me a... Bear with me one second. One second. Right here. This is Wisdom of Solomon 11 and 16. That they might know that wherewithal a man sinneth by the same also shall he be punished. But it says for the for thy almighty hand that made the world of matter without form. Wanted not means to send among them a multitude of bears or fierce lions. So it shows the Lord is created the world. He made the world without form. OK, so you believe in science. Science tells you Big Bang Theory created the earth and the universe and the planets. Hell no. Nah. There's no way, no way a, a Big Bang create 
what you see in front of you today. That's a higher power, man. How can you explain the water on the beach? The water could only go so far to the shore and then return it back. You can't, A, you cannot explain that. Science cannot explain that. Only the Lord can. He's the creator. He's the director. Okay. And it says, um, for the almighty hand that made the world of matter without form, wanted not means to send among them a multitude of, beer, of bears or fierce lions or unknown wild beasts full of rage, newly created, breathing out either a fiery vapor or filthy scents of scattered smoke or shooting horrible sparkles out of their eyes. Which just shows that um, the Lord has creatures that we don't know yet. And it's, um, it's just, hey, the Lord got things we don't know. Just plain and simple like that. So let's go back. Let's get, let's go back. Let's go to the book of Job, man. Let's go to the book of Job. This is Job 39 and 17. Because Yahweh Bashim al Shai have deprived her of wisdom... Neither have he imparted to her understanding. So, Embero is just saying a lot of foolishness, you know, because the Lord deprived her of wisdom. She can't understand that Yahweh Shimei Al Shai is, is a high power, that he's that he's a god. Okay, she can't understand that, man. The Lord have imparted her of understanding that, understanding that the Lord is real. The Lord, you know, because women. They don't have faith. They're unfaithful. Okay? So she doesn't even have a man. Alright? So she she's just scattering abroad, saying whatever she wants, because she's not guided. A woman needs a man. That's the set order. It goes, Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, the man, woman, and child. She doesn't have that. She don't have that head. So she's just over there just running like a chicken, man. Let's play a little bit more. And a, a, an invisible entity named God was like, let there be light. Mm. It just seems far-fetched to me. Really? So did you ever, have you ever been to church before? Yeah. And then times. when you go to church, you just don't be feeling it. You'd be like, damn, y'all be talking. Like, how do you be feeling? I just like don't believe Jesus, like, died and, like, came back to life for my sins. I just believe that's crazy. That's crazy, man. What she's saying, man. It says right here, this first Thessalonians four and 14. It says, for if we believe that Yahweh died and rose again, even so dim, which are also which sleep in Yahweh will Yahweh bring with him. Okay. But this lady does not believe. She doesn't believe Yahweh Shai died and rose again. Okay? She don't believe the Lord died for our sins. Okay? She thinks otherwise. She doesn't believe that the, uh, the father rose up the son. She doesn't believe that. Okay? Let's see. This is because Yahweh Shimon Shah did die for us. Woo! Oh, man.
Let's get this. Romans 8, 34. Who is he that condemneth? It is Yahweh Shai Hamashiach that died. Yeah, rather, that is risen again. Who is even at the right hand of the Most High, who also make intercession for us? Okay? Because the Lord is the uh, mediator. You know, he, he takes everything and tells the father. He's like the uh, the lawyer, as you could say. You know. Damn, man. Let's get this. Um, this is Romans 5 and 8. But Yahweh Bashimi Shai condemneth his love towards us. How did how did the how did Yahweh Bashim Shai do that, man? By condemning his love towards us. By sending his son. By sending his son, Yahweh Shai to the scene. Okay? That was an act of mercy and love because you know that we couldn't get the law correct. That we're gonna go off. But he sent his son Yahweh Shai to get it right. So he can make intercession for us. You know, through the grace, through um, through the liberty that we have now, okay? We have to believe on the Son, and we have to have faith, okay? Because we are saved by faith, not by the law, okay? And now, if we don't believe the Lord, we're going to be judged by the law, which we cannot keep fully 100%, Okay? It says, but Yahweh Bashim Yashah condemneth his love towards us by sending his son. And that while we were yet sinners, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach died for us. So this bitch is in sin right now. Okay. You know, even of even the act of her saying she don't believe is sin. I'm going to get that scripture. But the Lord died for us as a nation of Israel, man. First and foremost, for the elect, man, she got to be part of the two thirds that would put the Lord on the cross, man. Let our let His blood be on us and all our children. That got to be one of that spirit, man. That wicked ass spirit. Okay. Hey, man, unless you repent, Amber Rose, the Lord is finna kill your ass, man. Okay, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Okay. <clears throat> This is Romans 14 and 23. And he that doubteth is damned if he eat, because he eateth not of faith. For what whatsoever is not of faith is sin. Is this not of faith? Even though we know women don't have faith, point blank, period. But what she uttered out of her mouth is no faith whatsoever. Even her saying there is no God, that she believes in science. You know, that's not faith. There's no faith in that. Have, have you ever been to church before? Yeah. Once and then when you go to church, you just don't be feeling it. You'd be like, damn, y'all be talking like, how do you be feeling I just like don't believe Jesus like died and like came back to life for my sins. I just believe that's crazy. And, and like came back to life for if Jesus like died and like came back to life for my sins. I just believe that's crazy. That's. I could, like, how do you be I just like don't believe Jesus like died and like came back to life for my sins. I just believe that's crazy. Hey man, we proved it through the scriptures, man. Yeah, how about you now shy, man? He's a scary power. Okay. Let's get this. Let's just get this, man. Let's get Hosea 4 and 6. I was going to get Jeremiah 6. 
But let's just get Hosea, man, just to hit the point. It's Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Okay? Amber Rose, you're destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Just by you saying science overthrows the Bible. Okay? And the Lord. And it says, because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of the Most High, I will also forget thy children. And Amber Rose does have children. And that's scary because the Lord, man, the Lord can do some things that will have you regretting everything you just said, man. Let's get that. Matthew 12 and 36, it says, But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. So, Amber Rose, if you do not repent for the things you just said, you're going to have to give an account thereof in the day of judgment. You're going to have to give an account for what you just said, Amber Rose. Okay. It says, for by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. You're going to eat those things as you say if you do not repent, Amber Rose. All right, that's very unfaithful and fucking two-third ass mindset. Here it is. The Lord came on the scene for the nation of Israel, which is the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, to die for us. Okay, first as you know, his past life, which is this, uh, King Solomon and for the nation of Israel, he, he suffered on the cross for us. So we don't have to sacrifice no more. Just believe on the Lord. Okay, <laughs> and do his work, man. But this woman here, man, she don't believe there's no God. She don't believe the Lord got rose up and died for our sins. Come on, man. Amen. But Lord, will this lesson been edifying? I'm going to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem Yashai, by Hashem Kagodash. Let me read this precept one more time. Matthew 12 and 36. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. So with with that, I'm gonna give all praise and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yashai Bashim Kakudash. Till next time I say Shalom.